I'm involved in uh, Africa Energy Future project to uh, try and um, come up with uh, a regional uh, hydro um, hydro economic model for 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 Africa. So I am on the uh, on the uh, I'm a water resources engineer. So I'm on I'm developing this uh, water resources model that will be. Uh, uh, eventually integrated with an energy model and an and, and economic model and trying to look at what uh, impact of climate change will be to hydropower and that what that means uh, in the long run for the, for the economy. It's important because uh, while well, climate change becoming a major serious these days, a major threat these days, uh, we need to really know what 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 uh, what its impact is going to be on the water resources and what uh, what that means or how, or how that translates into hydropower generation and what that means to to general to the energy system uh, for 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 a region or for for a country. So it's important in that in that aspect wind and uh, solar energy resources are clean have uh, uh, no to very little carbon emission so they have uh, played a central role in combating climate change mainly by replacing fossil fuels also together with a growing demand uh, for a growing demand in energy many countries globally are actively engaged in developing their resources but there's a certain level of challenge that comes with developing uh, these resources especially when we come to implementation, uh, because mainly these uh, these resources are uh, particularly wind and solar intermittent in nature, and uh, their reliability uh, by themselves is very low. So they need some sort of backup system or uh, some complementary energy resource to uh, to make them more usable. Uh, one of the effective ways of making uh, this wind and solar uh, power more usable is by operating them together with uh, a hydropower, which serves as a battery or uh, a backup system. Uh, therefore, uh, the method that I presented yesterday was uh, try and come up with an optimized way of uh, operating the reservoirs in such a way that this synergetic uh, benefit can be obtained from uh, the wind and the hydropower. So uh, the findings were that we were able to get more reliability by operating them together. Uh, so uh, in the South African context, South Africa is known for having a huge potential for wind and solar. On the other hand, there is no uh, no significant storage uh, for, for hydropower, but uh, there's an opportunity in Zambezi River Basin due to the, 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 the huge storage that exists uh, right now. So uh, this research was looking at if this coordinated operation between South Africa, wind and hydropower in Zambezi could give rise to a better penetration of this wind resource uh, in, the, in the energy system. Mm -hmm.